All righty. How's everybody doing? Welcome to this call. We are also streaming live on YouTube. So if you're watching on YouTube, let us know where you're tuning in from. If you're watching here on Zoom, uh, also let us know where you're tuning in from. we got New York in the building, Canada, Highway 401. Don't know where that is at. Trinidad, New Zealand, Belgium, Arizona, uh, people from really all around the world. So excited that you're here. Uh, if you're on YouTube, feel free to uh, to comment as well. And uh, this is something I had planned in my schedule a couple weeks ago that somebody uh, said, hey, Mike, can you do another you know, crypto webinar and maybe answer some questions? So this will be more of a Q&A. Uh, I'll share a couple things here with you and then uh, feel free to ask some questions. Let me pull up the YouTube chat as well. Give me one second. Texas in the building, AZ. Incredible. Okay, awesome. So if you're watching on Zoom, um, you guys can use the Q&A or the chat. If you're watching on YouTube, you can use the chat as well. Let me pull this up real fast. And, uh, you know, I want to kind of start this thing off with some perspective here. Uh, just re really where crypto has been and really where it was four years ago this week. Um, four years ago this week. Bitcoin was at 6,000, you know, it's, it's done a 10 X since, um, since April of 2020. Okay. Uh, Ethereum has done what, like a 30, 40 X from, from this level. And I'll, I'll, I'll get to the Q and a toward the middle, toward the end. So have some questions. You can put them in the chat now, or just kind of wait. Uh, XRP was at 17 cents. There's some news here on XRP. I'll go over a couple things with you. And, um, yeah, Solana didn't even exist. You had this crypto tag Z5. This was number 10 in the market cap. And when we look at crypto, we love to look at it in four-year periods of time. So you fast forward four years today, right? Bitcoin is exactly a 10x on your money. You know, and if I was a betting man, I'm not, well, kind of, but <laughs> I would I would bet that in the next 10 years, Bitcoin does another 10x from these numbers. And the reason is because of the limited supply of the 21 million and how much money is coming into crypto. But here's the good news. is The good news is still, out of all of the crypto money, we still have not yet created a brand new all-time high from the previous bull market. So when you look at all of the money in crypto... Bitcoin, just let's just do Bitcoin, for example, is still not bigger. And let's just pull this up here, all assets. Bitcoin is still not bigger than silver. It's still not bigger than Amazon. And these are individual companies. Still not bigger than NVIDIA. Still not bigger than Apple and Microsoft. And when you look at how fast or how much money moves, NVIDIA had one day a couple weeks ago where $250 billion dollars went into that stock. That's five times bigger. There. It's like three or four times bigger now than Solana. Okay. And in one day. So money will always, you know, find a place, you know, if you, um, you know, gold, if you, if you want to take a look at something kind of funny here, let's take a look real fast at, uh, oh, let me just type this in at silver. You know, I saw a meme a couple hours ago. It was like, if uh if you, if your grandpa bought silver back in the 70s he, he's about to break even right now let's pull the silver chart up it's kind of it's not funny but um let's go back over here okay i guess it was this over here yeah so it's like if your if your parents or whoever bought silver back in um 2011 there uh, they're still down. <laughs> they're still down dramatically. Let's go to the, the yearly time frame here on silver. Oh, yeah, this was it right here. The, the 70s, 70s, 80s. Silver was 47. Came back in 2011. And God willing, it pulls back. So interesting where money moves in bad times, right? That's what you want to look at. During bad times, tough times, the past two years, I believe we were in a recession. Where was money moving to? It was moving to this space right here called crypto. All of crypto today, 2.7 trillion. Where is this going to be going? In my opinion, I think there's no reason that all of crypto is not right under gold in the next 12 months. I would be surprised 
if all of crypto is not four or five trillion dollars. Now, Bitcoin specifically does have the chance to get above Apple on this run. OK, and we'll get into that here in a couple of minutes, but put a one in the chat if you want to laugh. And this is why I'm always um, put a one in the chat if you want to have a good laugh real quick. This is why I'm always more of a long term investor, even if I buy projects um, that are maybe smaller, like lower cap coins. I'm always thinking like long term with if I'm going to buy it, I'm going to hold some of it for like a long time. And I want to show you something real quick. There's a there's a crypto and I'm not an advocate of meme coins because most people don't know how to trade and don't know how to invest. So them starting with that is not probably not good. A Solana trader bought $10,000 worth of dog with hat. Oh, no, dog with. Yeah, dog with hat, dog with coin or whatever at the early stage, but sold them for five, a $5,000 loss three days later. Today, that amount of money would be about $156 million. I'm not an advocate for meme coins once again, but could you imagine fumbling 100 mil? <laughs> could you imagine that feeling? So how do we like avoid potentially that happening to us? It's real simple. It's you go into a coin. Okay, and let's 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 get a little creative here. I wasn't going to talk about this, but you know, you go into a project and you have to ask yourself is am I willing to hold I mean, Jesus, for at least 4 years. I mean, am I willing to hold something for at least 4 years? You know, you have in, in this space you have investors and you have traders. Most people are not good traders. Why? Because they stare at the charts every day. You know, they're trying to trade in their portfolio. They're trying to trade on leverage. The reality is most people suck at trading. Can you get good? Of course, it's a skill set. Like anything, you can get really good. But as an investor, uh, put, a, put a two in the chat if you are an investor on this call, whether you invest in property or you invest in yourself. Everybody's an investor, so it's a trick question. But what's your, let's just do it like this. What's your game plan for that asset that you're buying? You know, or are you buying real estate just to live in it? Or are you buying real estate to flip it? Are you buying crypto to make money? Like, like what's your game plan when you become an investor? So when I see something like this, I'm like, okay, if I would have put $10,000 into that project, doesn't matter what it was, I would be completely willing to lose the 10K. And if I'm willing to lose the 10K, then I'm going to get at least a one to four, one to five risk to reward. I'll take my initial income out that I put in, and then I'll let the rest ride. So you do need that plan, Alden. You do need that plan, Jay. You do need that plan, Paco, Angelina, for everybody that's on here. And we're also streaming on YouTube. Say what's good in the chat on YouTube and uh, maybe smash that like button real quick if you're on YouTube. Now, uh, this is an interesting thing here that happened today is Ripple is launching a stable coin. Why are stable coins important? Because stable coins allow you to stay in crypto. Okay. From my understanding, it's not a taxable event if you stay in crypto. So speak to your account. Um, so stable coins are important. You know, there's two websites here where you can look at some real statistics, coingecko.com. And then let's go to defilama.com. And what I look at here is really how much money is in these stable coins, right? Tether is the biggest one. Uh, USDC is the second, DAI is the third. Now, other than that, the rest of it is trash. You know, the rest of these stable coins depeg all the time. I mean, I don't know why this is a, this is this is a stable coin to gold. This stable coin is worth two cents, so that's that's not good. Um, and it's always about what 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 uh what are in the reserves of the stable coin. So XRP, we all know. It's slow. It's okay. You know, uh, you know, I was kind of one of those slow kids in school. Like, I mean, I wasn't the smartest. I just knew who to copy off of, right? Publicly, I can say that. I haven't been in school in a long time. You know, you just got to know, right? Like, okay, what, what, what should we do here? We should probably follow that person's test. Now, XRP is taking a big step into DeFi. Okay. Uh, they're going into providing liquidity. They're going into some sort of like staking protocols. And they're doing it through this coin right here. Now, I don't care if you buy this. I have no affiliation with nothing I ever talk about. 
Sologenic. I actually don't even own Sologenic. It's not even in my portfolio. I sold it when I got it for free. Uh, maybe I'll buy some after this, though. It's at 57 million market cap. This is uh, where people are providing liquidity on the XRP network. How many people did not know about Sologenic? Let me know, know in the chat. Put a, put a one in the chat if you did not know about Sologenic. So you come in here, you go to DAPS. What is it? DAPS. You go to Sologenic DEX. This is an OG project. If you were holding Ripple in your wallet in December of 2021, I think, you got some free tokens, whatever. I think I sold them at the top. Um, but here is the interesting thing. XRPL now is built... And XRP really is being built to get into DeFi, right? So through the DEXs, the decentralized exchanges, NFTs. I mean, I don't know if that's going to pop on XRP, but you have they have the ability. And then this just went live, this AMM, uh, where now you can provide liquidity on XRP. So let's go to start trading real quick. And you guys can kind of see here, this just does give XRP a little bit more of a use case, which is pretty cool. Um, which is actually really valuable. So let's go to pools. And you can kind of see here, you know, USDC and XRP, you know, six, not a lot of money guys are in these pools yet, but this is, this is what we, this is how it starts. You know, this is how Ethereum started. You know, people think Ethereum started the way it is today, you know, and it's really still not, still not, still not fully functional. So I like this move. Them getting a stable coin just kind of, for me, it means that they're going to start building more projects on XRPL, which should help the use case. It should help XRP. And XRP just needs some attention right now. You know, some of us, we have to go to therapy because we've been holding XRP for so long. And some of us don't even have it in the portfolio. And I think one day you'll regret that, but that's up to you. I, I actually like XRP 30 to 60 cents. I think one day, hopefully I'm alive, it's, you know, five ten dollars and I can retire jeez so all right let's let's continue here um that's pretty cool now here's one of the uh how many of you guys have heard about this whole like d-pin thing you guys don't like that joke you guys didn't get the joke anyways how many of you guys have heard like this d-pin thing um just it's basically just communication you know take you guys saw this facebook lawsuit a lawsuit revealed that facebook has reportedly sold all of its users Private messages. I would be bored. I'm never retiring. That's That was just a joke. Um, a lawsuit revealed that Facebook has reportedly sold all its users' private messages to Netflix for 100 mil. Oh, that's interesting. How many of you guys watched that movie, Leave the World Behind? Let me know in the chat. I don't really watch Netflix too much. I watched that movie like a month ago. A couple months ago before the bridge, the bridge situation. How many people watched that movie? Coincidence or programming? All right, the Obamas funded it. That's interesting. Not to get too political here, but this is this is not good. Okay, what what this situation is not good for all of us. And you know why? Is because we all know that our data is out there. I get crazy text messages every single day. Now you know what's crazy? Let me know if this happened to you. When I watched the the movie Leave the World Behind. No, no, no. Excuse me. I watched another movie. How many of you guys watched that Netflix uh, show or movie, Dumb Money? Did anybody see that movie as well? Those are the last two things I've watched. I watched it, and the next day I got some phone calls from like some stockbrokers or like some, some Wall Street people. That's interesting to me. Very interesting to me. Now, I don't care if you have Netflix, Hulu. I mean, if you have all of them, you probably need you probably need to stop because that's just too many subscriptions. You know, you could probably invest some of that into Ripple and maybe get a return one day. But this is not good. So what is being built, right? We have to look at infrastructures. We have to look at understanding communication. And, you know, Ethereum, there, this can't be done on Ethereum. So I'm not trying to be biased right here. But I think this will be one of the biggest projects in Solana uh, in the next five years. I think this could be a three to five billion dollar market cap itself. How many people have seen what Soul Chat is doing? Okay. Now I am an investor in Soul Chat, so I don't, you know, whatever. Buy it, don't buy it. I'm just showing you. Okay. Uh, very interesting. Okay. And if you haven't seen Soul Chat, I'm just going to go to their Twitter. This is public information. Is it gives you the ability? Let's actually go to the Soul Chat. Gives you the ability to text, to FaceTime, 
Okay, let's actually just watch this quick video right here. This is the founder of uh, Solana on the right-hand side, Anatoly. And they're actually sharing screen. There's audio. I can like share if I wanted to do this. And that was V1. Okay. You gotta have a phantom wallet, swap for it, all that stuff if you choose to do that. That's cool. Okay. Now, you know why? And look at, or I had that picture up there. Did I lose it already? You have the ability to text on the blockchain. You have the ability to create group chats on the blockchain. You have the ability to FaceTime on the blockchain. I made a video. It's on my YouTube. If you guys go down into the videos here, go watch this five-minute video. It's called Blockchain FaceTime, and I dive a little bit deeper into that. And um, if you guys saw that picture I just had, does everybody see what they're going to be having in May? Okay. Well, two things. Let's talk about April 1st. Soul Chat V2 launch with our mobile app. So in Solana, there's a phone. Okay. How many people have seen the Solana phone? Uh, I just ordered the, I'm going to order actually another one for, for somebody else. Uh, probably get my dad one as well. The new Solana phone uh, is going to be coming out in next year, 2025. Okay. Now, every phone, like like Apple has an app store. Androids have a, what, Android Play Store? What is it? Anybody at an Android here? I don't. Let me know in the chat if you have an Android. Sorry to hear that. Uh, but I guess what? I guess, I guess I'm coming to the other side. I don't know. I guess this is kind of an Android, but I'm not going to acknowledge that. The Play Store. Well, Solana needs an app store as well. Now, right now, I think they have about 10 apps in their first, in their first phone. Supposedly, no, this is pretty much a fact now. Soul Chat will be an app in version two, where all of the FaceTimes and messages and everything is secure. Messages and transactions uh, use with custom memos, use a burner wallet with 0.1 Soul for months. So you could have 0.1 Solana and be able to text, cough for months. You actually don't even have to connect to the internet. Okay, You don't even have to have like anything else, but I'm going to have Helium Network, 20 bucks a month. So this is like Soul Chat here. I don't have my wallet connected, but if I did, I could be able to message, create group chats. I'm not going to go too deep into that. Pretty cool. There's a whole payment system behind it. Now, really think about this. If somebody hacks your phone, all of your stuff is leaked. All of your people get their Gmail stolen every day. Like it happens every day. You click on the wrong link and you can lose your seed phrase. You can lose your wallet access. So that's why you never have your seed phrase on your phone, okay? I think this helps that. So the point is, is communication. This type of communication, email as well, Soul Mail, okay, a new project just released their product where you can email on the blockchain, okay? I could get your Solana wallet address. Now, how do you do that? It's pretty simple. You just make a Phantom wallet or a Soul Flare wallet. Phantom is probably a little bit easier. Phantom Wallet has like 5 million users and I have no affiliation with them. They don't pay me a dollar to talk about. I'm just talking about this. This is what I use. So you download this to Chrome, you get your seed phrase, boom. If I have, let's say, Tasha's or Chandler's or Lisa's wallet address, I can email all on the blockchain. Okay. Well, here's the whole thing. Is it like ProtonMail? I think this is actually better than ProtonMail, maybe. It's still early, still early. Because ProtonMail, at the end of the day, is a company. Here, there's no company. Like, <laughs> SoulMail is a decentralized platform. Uh, doesn't connect to the internet. What is it connected to? Uh, all you need is Wi-Fi to be able to use all of these apps. Okay? Um, to swap, you just go to Dex Screener or uh, Bird Eye, and then you just find the contract, and then you can swap there. But I'm not getting into that on, on this call. So... This is cool. Now, now he, does everybody see the wallet address here? Uh, 2LFTU. Put a one in the chat if you see that. And I'm going to answer some questions here in five minutes. What is the issue with... What is the issue with, uh, with that? I mean, I can't remember that. I can't remember Rossi's or Mark's or Aaron's wallet address. You know, and then you kind of look at the domains. You know, how do you get a domain? Well, there's a company that does it for Ethereum, ENS. Well, there's also a company that does it for 
Solana. Wow. Bone fight. I've been talking about this since it launched. It's all coming together, everybody. How many of y'all are kind of seeing how this can like, all of this is going to be on the new Solana phone, in my opinion. And I'm documenting it here on YouTube to, you know, make some of those, hey, you were right. You were right videos. And I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. But that's, that's, that's pretty cool. So if I get your Tasha Blair dot soul or Lisa Osborne dot soul, I can send you an email. Crazy, right? And then they're building like streaming, soul stream and all these other ones that are all going to come together to be on that Solana phone. So I think it's a great time, not only just to be like paying attention to Solana, of course, but just really the whole crypto ecosystem, seeing how like this is like real world utility. Like, no offense, if you made money, congratulations. But Dogecoin is trash. Shiba is trash. You know, dog with hat. I think that's the cutest one. I love the dog with hat. I mean, that's, I mean, that's just incredible. Like that logo, come on, to die for. They did it right with the tokenomics because they didn't dilute it. But guess what? Uh, there's no utility for any of those coins. And they try to Elon Musk. Oh, my God, nobody cares. Eventually, they will top out and that money billions of dollars. And, and that's kind of like, like, you really got to think about it. there's $25 billion in Dogecoin. You're telling me Soul Chat can't get to a billion dollars? It's at 64 million market cap right now. You're telling me this can't get to 500 million at least, a 10, 20x? I don't know. I think it will. It's my opinion. There's 9 million tokens. Right. Soul Mail is kind of more of a little bit newer. It's a low cap project as well. It's down bad today, but you know, you know, a billion tokens. Right. You look at projects that actually have real world utility. Right. RWAs will be a real thing as well. And I'm going to get into some questions here in a second. So that's kind of that. Um, this is chat on the chart. I mean, it, it hit like a, it hit like 200 million market cap. You know, and I love people that buy when the market goes up, but I'm more of a, now we buy, now we get out. You know what I'm saying? Put a one in the chat if that makes sense. I know people love chasing waterfalls. If you know, you know, but I don't. I'm in crypto to make money. I'm in crypto to be a pioneer. I'm in crypto to spread the word. What if you're on public Wi-Fi? No, it's on the blockchain. So all of those texts and emails are encrypted. You know, I'm not a blockchain like person, like the back end, but it's all encrypted. Solana stores encrypted messages, decrypted upon wallet connection. So yeah, all of it's on the back end. Web RTC video call your friends, just like it's WhatsApp. You can send payments like it's Cash App. I don't know. I sound like a Solana Maxi right now, but you know, you look at some of these real world utilities. It's pretty incredible. Um, and I think a lot of projects that have that, even like Chainlink, I think Chainlink today is still extremely undervalued. No Chainlink, no DeFi. No Chainlink, no like 50 other projects. Okay. Chainlink has a similar project on Solana's network. It's not connected, but it's, it's an Oracle. So it brings data. Write this down. I'm giving I'm giving way too much free game on YouTube today. I'm feeling feeling generous. PYTH, go look this project up. Okay. I'm not going into it, but it's very similar to Chainlink. I mean, if Chainlink has a $10 billion market cap, I don't think, I don't think why this can't get to five, 10 billion on this run. Now it is at an all-time high in price. So that that makes me a little skeptical. I'm not more of a I'm not an all-time high kind of guy. You know. It actually looks like it wants to fall. Yeah. We'll see if we get it. So uh, let's let's do some questions. Let's do some questions, and then I got to jump off here soon. Uh, and the only thing I ask, if you guys can maybe just jump into the YouTube, I'm going to put the link in the chat. Uh, if you guys could just subscribe to my YouTube, there's that. that's the sales pitch of this call. If you could just hit the subscribe button, I would uh, greatly appreciate it. And yeah, this video right here, five crypto bull market reminders. I think we've saved, you know, <laughs> I saved a couple people with that video. They've, they've messaged me. So if you guys are watching on YouTube, 
you probably already subscribed. If you're watching on Zoom, if you can just hit the link, subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. So let's do a couple questions. And we'll go from there. Okay. Um, I don't know what ASI coin is. Do you feel meme coins will have an opportunity for generational wealth? No, but you can make a ton of money and you got to move that money because you have to understand this is how money works in crypto. Money goes from main caps, then to mid caps, and then to low caps. Now, guess what? There are meme coins that are main cap coins like Dog with Hat and Shiba, blah, blah, blah. Guess what? Eventually, you know, when Bitcoin tanks, when Bitcoin goes down, those are the those are the coins that that money exits the fastest. Why? Because there's no utility. There's no reason for it to hold. We're not there yet, but you can write this down, save this, bet on this. Crypto will get so big that Bitcoin can go down 5 10%, and the whole market, the rest of the market, can hold still. We're just not there yet. The whole market follows Bitcoin still. But I think one day... We need more money in this space. We need more of a mature space. Bitcoin can go down 5%, 20%, and the rest of the market barely flinches um, with things that have utility. So I think it'll be okay. Uh, Sean Phillips, you can just message me on Instagram and I'll, I'll answer that question. I have a free book. Uh, Zamanat just messaged me on Instagram. Uh, is Jupiter part of the Solana blockchain? Yes, that's a great point here. I, I, I like Jupiter a lot. Um, man, I love Jupiter. Uh, okay, this is a demo wallet. I don't have anything in here. Yeah, you could swap set limits. You know, this is uh, one of my one of my favorite features. The trading aspect of Jupiter. Let me know if you guys want me to make a video on this. I might do a video for YouTube. This is a decentralized platform. There's no broker or anything like that. Um, you know, you could actually trade Solana on Jupiter with a wallet. So you have full custody of your crypto. You know, I think that and, and Coinbase has made it very clear. They are going in a pro derivatives and future space. Uh, they're welcoming in that. They want regulation in that space. There's already regulation in that space. They have a platform these are the decentralized platforms similar to that. Is there a DeFi credit card? Um, I don't think so. DeFi credit card? I don't think so. How can I hit chairman? <laughs> Message me on the side. Uh, how to purchase crypto in the U.S.? Um, regulated exchanges. Coinbase is regulated in America. What's the best exchange to use for selling your crypto? Well, if you're using, it depends where you're living. You know, go look at what's available in your country. If you live in America, Coinbase is regulated. Uh, these are all the main exchanges, right? Qcoin, don't use them. They're getting in some trouble right now. Crypto.com's in America as well, but I thought Crypto.com wasn't going to make it, to be honest. I think they still won't. But yeah, you go in, you go out, you never leave your crypto in any of these places. What's about Jupe and USD airdrop? Yeah, if you're staking on Jupiter and participating in the network, they give you free tokens. Uh, what pro I can't talk about prop firms. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't use prop firms personally. So it's up to you if you do it. Is LookSquare here to stay? I, I mean, LookSquare is one of those projects that I'm actually come, somewhat proud of because they, they look like they were going to fold and they had a big bounce back. Now this chart looks terrible. This chart on the market cap doesn't look bad. You know, I know you. I know people love to buy when it goes up, but I like to buy when it's down and people are not talking about it. They pivoted heavily. Uh, now they're doing like some games. They have some games. They're doing another token. There's still some staking, but they reduced the staking from looks, which was just way too high down. They're doing this raffle thing uh, like MetaWin. I'm actually proud of LookSquare. You know, can it get back to 500 million market cap? Guys, in a, in a full out bull market these coins uh, how do i say this some of them accidentally are going to hit 500 million you know what i'm saying it's like in a bull market we haven't experienced an altcoin bull market yet you're going to see trash go to 500 million market cap 100 million market cap you're going to see them go from 2 million to 10 to 10 million in a couple minutes like it's crazy Mike, can you share some tips to save on gas fees? I mean, always look at the top here. You can go to, uh, what is it, ethernow.xyz. I like this one to look at gas fees. 
Uh, I usually do transactions late at night when gas fees are the lowest. This is a this is not bad right now, but I'm doing majority of my stuff right now on Solana. I have majority of well, I don't care what exchange you use, Jim. Just don't leave your crypto there. That's way too risky. Okay, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you're on YouTube, but what about Bitcoin? Do you think it'll pull back? I mean, it could. It always it always could. Not really going to give out prices and stuff, but you know, it's it, it held the level that I needed it to hold on the daily. Now the question is: is does it? <laughs> It doesn't break 70K. Like, this is a really dangerous level where this can come right back down. So, we'll see what happens. You know, if it does, what's your plan? If it goes up, what's your plan? Yeah, get your crypto out of the exchanges, guys. That's just, that's just wild. Will I be late if I come into crypto one year from now? Good question, Judah. I don't think you'll be late. But I wouldn't wait a year. <laughs> um, now, that's a good question as well, because some people feel like they're priced out. And that's, that's okay. Um, I wouldn't say they're late. Anybody in crypto before the previous all-time high in money is early, but you have to know how to navigate. You got to get educated. Like right now, like this whole thing, can I can I put a two in the chat if I can be extremely honest? This whole shit can crash. Like this whole thing can reverse on all of us and humble everybody. And we could see a massive correction back into like this level right here. So, like, don't get too humped, don't get too greedy. And I talked about this in the video on my YouTube. This video here, talk about it right here. So, don't get too cocky. If this thing creates a lower high and, like, starts failing, yeah, we could come back to two trillion, maybe even a little bit lower. Exactly. Invest, invest what you're willing to lose and wait for pullbacks. Like, if you think Solana's going to 500, okay. Well, let's wait for, like, massive pullbacks and personally, as long as Solana holds this level, it should continue. I'll I'll go bullish. I'll go long here around this level one more time to see if we catch that big push. But if we start to break under, yeah, we're going back to the 140s. So be patient there. Um, You should be able to swap on Ledger, all those coins. Okay. Guys, I hope you have a great day. Um. You guys can just subscribe to the YouTube. Greatly appreciate it. Maybe I'll do another one of these the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm thinking about doing maybe a live stream during the halving. Uh, I don't know if you guys would show up to that and be on Zoom with us when the halving actually happens. The halving is going to happen on April 20th. What is UTC time? Uh, UTC to Eastern time. Let me know if you guys would want to do a, a big Zoom. Maybe we get like 5,000 people on Zoom. What is that? 15.58. What time is 15.58, guys, in UTC? Anybody know what time that is? Is that 3.58 in the morning or at night for me? I dropped out of school. I don't know. I don't know this stuff. PM. Okay, good. I can be awake, I can be awake either one. I'm cool with either. So about 4 p.m. Eastern. Ooh. We, we might do it. Um, yeah, we might do that. Direct message me on Instagram if you want me to do that. We might do that, but we got to really promote. I'm going to get a big, if we do that, we got to like, we got to put like 5,000 people on Zoom. It'll be a lot of fun. We'll watch that, the halving clock. We'll actually, go, we'll actually go into the Bitcoin network and actually see the block create the, the last trend or fulfill the last transactions. And then uh, the rewards go down. So yeah, maybe message me and we'll talk about it. Um, oh, I see some more questions here. Yeah, guys, you guys are asking some, some, some wild stuff here. Uh, yeah, Avima was my first company. I love it. If it wasn't for that, I would not be here. Guys, have a great day. The recording is actually on YouTube, so you don't need to ask me. Just go to my YouTube, hit subscribe, and uh, the recording is there. Feel free to send it out. See y'all.